Hey guys, it is uh, July the 6th of 2020. I wanted to do a quick video on support and resistance. I know a lot of you guys use different techniques and different methods. I wanted to show you one that I use in timing solution called turning points. This is the uh, chart of gold. And as you can see, we bottom out here on 2016 and I'm hiding the future in regards to price action, assuming that uh, we're going up. And I wanted to see where are the points of resistance. Let's say if you wanted a short, when uh, it hits a price target, you could know where resistance is, or if you're going to go long, you know where to get out if you're scalping. There's different ways uh, to the technique. So you open up your uh, turning point. First thing you want to do is uh, select close to close. Um, pick 20%. You can mess around with uh, retracement price or turning point price levels um, or square root of square uh, price swings. I like to use between retracement price and uh, TP price levels. So you can kind of see the difference. And what you do is, uh, there's two ways about it. You could either pick the big gaps where there's nothing there and, and highlight that. And that would be your uh, resistance level. Uh, or you could pick... Um, the price actions itself, like little TPs. So let's uh, open those. Let's open this up really big. So what was the last price? What was the last price action here? Was it 10.45? Okay. Now we know that was like the low. 10.45. Well, even way back. Okay. So let's say, let's do, let's do the gaps in between price action. Do that right there. Uh, there's this gap right here, this gap right here, uh, there's a little one right here, uh, there's a big one, you know, I, I probably wouldn't stretch it out all that, like, that's a big, that's a big jump, uh, but if you wanted to, you can, let's do it so you can just see what it looks like, there's a the one right here, and then there's a big one right here. So you you trade you you're putting resistance as the gaps. All right, let's minimize this. Is that right? Yep. Okay. Now let's uh, zoom in and let's see what price action does at these levels. Now we're going forward. You can see that it's already some resistance right here, uh, and it's chopping up, hitting it, broke through it, went back down. Now finding support. Uh, Went higher, now it's dancing on this resistance level, uh, going back. And what it is, is like when it hits it, and once it gets above it, it finds support. And then it sometimes goes all the way down. But, you know, I'm just going to let you see the price action. It's amazing. You see, it's chopping, broke down, hit that level now. Look at that. It picked that one right there, and then it shot down. And now failed here, failed here, and now it's dancing around here. Hit that resistance. You see how, and this is daily. This is a daily, this is a daily candle. This is not a, it looks like a five minute. This is daily. Look, we're already in 2017. So right there, you could have shorted it. Right here, you could have, you could have bought it and just scalped little swings. But you did this ahead of time. So I'm telling you, this is already like laid out. Found support there. Broke through resistance. Now hit the other resistance. Came back down right there. You, it's chopping. You could you could buy right there. Maybe get stopped out. You know, fake head, a head fake, go all the way to the top. And that's the other major resistance. Now it's chopping around. Now it's came, coming right back down. Now landing on that one. Broke right there, and it keeps going down. You see how it is? And then you could probably buy it there. Put a stop below. And it's chopping, it's chopping. You're already at 2019. Now it's going higher, found support on that resistance, which now became support. Now it's chopping around, it's chopping around. Now blue, whoa, look at that. Blue right, found support here, found support here. Was Found resistance, came back up. Found resistance, now blew up with an explosion and found resistance right here. Blew right through it. 
it, that other resistance level, chopping around back and forth, back and forth, finding support. Blew right through it, and now is in this big level of discovery price action. Look at that. Hit that all the way to the top, flushed all the way right down, broke this support, found support here, and bounced right back up to that resistance level. And broke right through it. And now it's finding support right at the top. And this is where we're at right now, July of 2020. So that's one that's one way to do it. Uh amazes me this tool. Uh a lot of people don't I guess don't use it, but I always find value. Instead of using square of nines and all this other stuff and re retracement levels, this is a, a awesome tool uh for you to see uh price action also, uh support and resistance. So let's clear this out. The next thing you want to do, let's minimize this, let's uh minimize that, let's just do it again. And we're going to use now the price action itself. Uh, another way to do it. Minimize that. Uh, same thing. So now what you want to do is you want to get the price action itself. Not the gaps. The gaps. But the price action itself as support and resistance. Uh, let's uh, open this up. I mean, this is 2000. We haven't, you know. This this is a level, this is a Fibonacci level. What, what I do this is do this. Right there, highlight that. That's a level. That's a level you want to keep an eye on. Fibonacci levels, I make them really thin. This is a price action. And this is the price action right here. And there's a Fibonacci level there, so you can see that it was dancing there. A little skinny Fibonacci level. A little price action right here. A little price interaction right there. A little Fibonacci level. I mean, this could get a little clutter. Uh, it's a little price action there. All right there. This is a big one. And then this is a big one right here. All right, let's minimize that. Let's see what we got. Wow, look at that. So it's you can see it's a little more heavier on the eyes. Um but you pick uh you pick what you like. And then let's get into it. See what happens. Get a little closer and see. Finding support. Bouncing off that Support, which is resist, uh, uh, was resistance, and now it's support. Now it's going sideways. Sold off, kind of chopping, find it broke below support. You could do the same thing for for support. Once you're like here, you could do it. But I'm just just doing the resistance level, just price action going up. Just try to keep it simple. You could go, you could do both sides. I just want to show you the resistance levels. Finding support, going sideways, breaking above, selling off, finding support. Sideways, 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 and like I said, daily candles popping up. Sideways on the top range, on the, on the top. A resistance, kind of becoming resistance, support, back and forth. It's in that range. Now below find support broke through kind of holding sideways look like it's holding looks like it's holding we're going into 2019 now it's popping now it's holding there finding resistance chopping sold off trying to hold support there broke right through now popped went to the other level there's not in the other channels now wow and it really popped finding resistance right here uh, let's see, let's see. Going into 2020, it's kind of sideways, 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 popped on the top. Look at that. Sold off right here, found support, bounced right back up. 
chopping in that price action level right there. And this is where we're at right here. So right now, uh, this 19 and change is going to be resistance. And all the way to that 2100 and change is going to be resistance up into the future. I hope you like this video. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. And uh, we take it from there. Peace.